Today, I want to share the items that I ordered online from the Target Spring Designer Collection. Both of these items are from Fee Noel, and I've already done one video about what I got in store, but finally, the packages have arrived. Welcome, or welcome back to Chris's Stylista, where we curate authentic, beautiful, affordable style appropriate for your real life right now. If that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. If you watched my previous video, you know that I shopped the Target Spring Designer Collection featuring Fee Noel, Road, and Agua Bendita. The items that I displayed in my previous video were the items that I found in store, but also that morning at 2 a.m. Central, I purchased a few items online. Both items are from the Fee Noel collection and I'm going to take them out of their packaging and give them a try right now. All right, so here's item one. And I shop my regular size when it comes to collections. Size 10, I took a chance. And here we go. And I'll definitely share some my shots. These are the Yoke High Rise Pants in A10 from the Fee Noel Collection. These pants are very light and breezy. They are also petite girl friendly. I am 5'1 and they don't drag the floor, so that's great. I'm wearing low heeled sandals with this look, but they'd also look good with flat sandals and still not drag the floor. So I am loving that. I'm pairing them also with a Old Navy cami and a J. Crew white shirt, which I'm going to tie up for more of a casual or vacation look. The pants have one pocket on the left side, and I like the look. I think I would have preferred to have two pockets, but okay. I'm pairing it with a small crossbody bag that I recently purchased from Jara. So there are the black Phenoil or Target pants styled. Now this one is definitely worth searching for if you were on the hunt for them but didn't get them. They're light and airy and I have to say that the, the material is very light but the style is unmatched. I haven't seen anything like this on the market this spring. I've seen something close but not quite. Seeing these pants and feeling like they were such a hit I checked the Fee Noel line, her main line, and I really like these better than the version they were influenced by. They are a fraction of the cost. So if you can get them in the black or the khaki, do it. So I bought three items. So I had three windows open at the time of the sale. I bought one, checked out, bought two, checked out, bought three, checked out. I also had all three of them saved in my likes under my Target login. The third item actually came on Sunday. It was the cream sunglasses, but they weren't for me, so I took them back immediately. So let's get into package two. If you've been looking for items in this collection, you know what this is. Oh, they wrapped it well, I know that.
This is item two, the phenol oil cover-up in a size small. So I'll try this on as well. This cover-up clearly deserves a spin or two. So I had to give it to you. I had to give it to you today. Look at these Floyd blowy sleeves. I am wearing a cami underneath as well as a half slip just for a bit of modesty with the try on. For me, this item was the crown jewel of the Target Spring Collection. It's the Sketch Palm Leaf Print Ruffle Trim Cover Up. I am a true 10 12, and so this is a small. In my mind, I envision myself on vacation wearing this, maybe to breakfast, maybe in the room lounging, looking over the balcony at the ocean. Once again, I paired it with this Zara handbag, recently purchased. With these last two items, I wrap up my Fino Well collection purchases. I'd love to know what you decided on if you were able to get a few of these things after you got them all home. Were there star items for you? Were there things that you thought were gonna work that didn't work at all? What did you decide to keep? What did you decide to return? Please share that in the comments. So what if you missed that 2 a.m. central launch of the Target collections and missed the wide variety of items available for sale? What if you simply didn't have the time, overslept, or just weren't in the mood to jostle around with other Target fashionistas to vie for your favorite Target collection picks? I say don't fret. All is not lost because similar to previous designer collections, there is a limited return window for the current spring target collaborations. Everyone has two weeks to return the items that did not work for them. So what that means for you is count 14 days past that April 15th launch and start checking the stores. Anyone who rushed into purchasing things, who may have bought multiple sizes, who thought they were gonna hit up on a lick and sell a whole bunch of stuff on the resale market and it didn't work out. And I'm not one bit mad at you for trying, not one bit. You better do you. You, you better try to flip. You better try to flip it. Do it, do it. All those folks, whether the sizes didn't work, the colors, the fabrications, the hustle, the hustle didn't work, they're gonna be back at Target returning those things. And so you can check your local stores to see if a few things have trickled in in your size. A second option, and I would advise you do this immediately if you are really interested in some pieces and you had your heart set on these things and you just missed it, to go to the Target website or the Target app, sign in and sign up for restock alerts. I've signed up for three restock alerts and I have received three notifications that things came back in stock. So it is most definitely a possibility for you to still acquire a few of the things that you wanted. And also the third option, as I mentioned, some folks purchase extra stuff with the intent to sell. So you may find some things on the resale market. Now you may get a better deal after the return date has passed and people are more realistic about recouping their money. And the consumers are less concerned with the scarcity of these items. So just a few things to think about, some food for thought. And if you don't end up getting your favorites with this collection, believe me, a new collection will be here before you know it. Or you could just simply save that money for another item on your wish list. Another alternative, if you feel like being a complete hater about it, you can recognize that all in all, even though these are lovely creative designer collections, these items will be ubiquitous for a season or two. Everyone will have them. Everyone will be wearing them. And so you never know. You can show up to a party, an event, a brunch, a vacation, and see two or three folks wearing your same outfit. That's the rub about these collections. They're all over. Everyone has access to them. So you might show up to the party looking like a member of the dance team or the flag line or a backup singer because it's four, five, six of y'all in the same outfit. So if you don't get what you want, 
it's okay to be a silent hater. Know that anyone who got the high profile favorites of this collection may not look unique out in the streets this spring and summer. Just saying. If you'd like to learn more about my personal style, like where I shop, how I shop, if I tailor my items, I'll leave a playlist for you here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.